everyone. Today is Tuesday, February 7th, 2017. My name is Brian McInerney. I'm the hydrologist here with the National Weather Service located in Salt Lake City. And this is the short version of the water supply forecast briefing that we send out. So let's get to it. So our current weather pattern as of today looks like this. And this is essentially a rendition of the winds at 11,500 feet and it also shows where the jet stream is going. Those red areas indicate the greatest energy in the jet and the areas that are receiving the most energy and as a result the biggest storms. Something to consider, this clockwise rotating feature, this high pressure, this used to be the dominant weather feature from the fall of 2011 until this year. This year it's gotten so much smaller the door is open, we've got flow coming in from the Pacific, and we've got all sorts of good stuff going on hydrologically in the western U.S. and Utah. So let's take a look at the precip anomaly, and what we're looking at is the Great Basin, and it's colorized by percent of average for the precipitation for the month of December. And when you look at this, you see mostly blues, and that's roughly in the 150 to 200 percent range. But it's out near the Great Salt Lake, kind of in the desert. And when you want to look at where it really counts, where we get our water supply from, this is what we see. And this is generated by the Colorado Basin River Forecast Center, which is also part of the National Weather Service in the same room with me here. We see 150 percent to 200 percent precip that fell in December, which was fabulous. Then we move to January and it gets even better. Now we're up into the 200 to 300 percent range. When you look at the headwater areas up in the mountains where you want it, that's what we see. So when you think of two consecutive months of above normal precipitation significantly, two to three times what you'd expect in January, we got it's in the mountains right now and we're actually getting a storm today which is kind of nice. When you look at the temperature anomaly, <coughs> We'll look at December and what we see that green colorization in Utah indicates below normal temperatures and that's really critical because you want to keep the snow you have you want it when it's falling as snow and not so much rain and that's what we had in December when you look at January more of the same especially the western US it's been very active as a result the temperatures are much cooler than normal for December and January and then if you look at the eastern part of the U.S., it's very warm. This was flip-flop for the past five years. It was usually much cooler in the Midwest and the East than it is in the West. And that was really during that five-year period, but not the case this year. When you look at our snowpack, after we've talked about the, the temperature and the precip, what's the result in the amount of snow in the mountains? What you see are percentages that are very, very good. 163 percent in the bear, 161 for the green. Down near Salt Lake City, 154 percent. Those are the mountains off to the east. Down by Ogden, mountains off to the east, 167 percent. And the Uintas, on the south aspect of the Uintas, 191 percent. Almost twice the snow. When you go down to the Virgin in southwestern U.S., we're at 200 percent. And this is percent of median. So when you look at that, and then you say, okay, well, all this comes together. What does it mean for our water supply? And this looks at the melt coming off of the mountains from April 1st through the end of July. All of the water that's going to flow out of the mountains. What are we looking at percent of average? And this is what we see. Some very, very healthy numbers. <clears throat> and this forecast was made by the Colorado Basin River Forecast Center. And it shows really good numbers. 155 percent up in the bear, 120 percent coming out of the Six Creeks area like from Little Cottonwood to City Creek, the mountains off of Ogden 140 percent, mountains off of Provo 150 percent, UN is at 150 percent, and southern Utah doing quite well all the way around. So overall our water supply picture as of early February is very promising. So there you have it. That's the quick briefing. Um, I'll include a link for the long version if you want to go that route. This one's about four minutes. Uh, the long one's about ten minutes. There's my phone number. There's my email. If you would like to give me a call or contact me and chat about this, that would be lovely. Otherwise, let's hope the storms keep going. Until the next round, we'll talk to you again. Thank you.